Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas. And this is number 7 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video. Work the problem out on your own. Unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So Freddie's got some money in his account. He's going to start with $256, and he's going to put $50 more, and then he's going to take out $87. And if you notice, all of our answer selections here include those three numbers, 256, 50, and 87. So we're needing to write an equation that can be used to find the amount of money he had after this right here. So this is where he took his money out, so we want to basically figure out after he's done all this how much money does he have left but the question is are we going to add twice or we're going to subtract twice add once or subtract add once subtract once in what order those are the four options that we have so typically we can um, draw a picture make a representation so let me draw something that some of you might not use a whole lot I'm just going to draw a number line. Now, I'm not going to try to draw little hash marks for every single number. That's not going to work. But let's say he started with zero. And then uh, for our purposes, he's going to start, let's just put 256 right here. So most big accounts start with zero. But in this story, he is going to start with $256. Now, he's going to put $50 more into his account. So this doesn't say add or subtract. This is what you as a third grader have to figure out. That when you're putting more into something, it means you're adding something. And so that's a real world application of trying to figure out when do I add, when do I subtract. So we're going to add 50. So I'm going to draw just another little line like this. I'm going to put a plus 50. Now, I don't know what my new number is until I, let's just go ahead and add that 256 plus 50. So he's got, oh, look at that, $306. Good for him. But now he wants to buy a bike, which is a great use of that money, and he's going to take out $87. So we have two clues in this sentence as to whether we add or subtract. So when you take something out, you're subtracting. And also when you're buying something, you're subtracting because you have to give money to the store in order to uh, take the bike out. And so we're going to subtract 87. So what I can do is since we ended at this 307, I'm going to just draw another arrow up on top. And it's going to, I don't know how much farther back it's going to go, but I'm going to make it go back farther than the 50 because I know 87 is larger than 50. So I'm just going to do an 87 minus 87. And that's how we could represent this story problem with a number line. It doesn't help us with the uh, equations quite yet, but it will in just a moment. So let me first figure out how much money he ended up with. 380, 306 minus 87. Oh, we're going to have to regroup across the zeros. Go all the way over to the hundreds place. Make that tens place a 10. So now we've got a 9. Now we can do my 16 here. So we've got 9. There we go. He's got $219. And if I wanted to, I could just write this 219 in each of these to, and then work out the problem. And I could work out each of these problems by adding twice, subtracting twice, whatnot. But we've basically already figured out what we needed to do. We start with 256, which each of these does. The first thing we did was we added 50. So that was our first step. So that means we're not going to use C because that subtracts first, and we're not going to use A because that also subtracts first. And then we finish by taking away the 87, and so that is going to leave us with this D, because if you look at B, you're wanting to add both the 50 and the 87, and that is going to be much too large. So our answer is D, 256 plus 50 minus 87. We did that by drawing this extended a number line we could also have just drawn a picture or like i said if you are just really stuck and you think you know the answer just go ahead and do the math figure out what all of these equals and only one of them d is going to equal 219 that's our answer 